Welcome to the project's second annual review. We have built on the successes of last year and have had the privilege of working with our schools to make health and wellbeing an integral part of the school. Each story and each success has shown how vitally important this project is. We have had a staggering number of staff using our depression and anxiety self-assessment tool, with over 4,000 staff members using it. Many staff reported having sleep problems, with seven members of staff seeking expert advice. In addition, five members of staff needed critical support in the form of mental health first aid. We have also supported staff members who have been victims of domestic abuse. This year we have had many staff come to us for cancer-related help and support. And as a result, an online forum has been created to aid those affected by cancer within the school environment, the first of its kind in the country. Here are some of what our school staff have to say about the help and support they have received. I found a lump and was referred to the Mermaid Centre to have it checked. At school, as well as having to explain my appointment, I also had to ask for time off. I spoke to our health and wellbeing champion to ask for her advice as to how I should go about it. Her responses and actions were so supportive. As well as sorting out cover for me at school, she said she would take me to the appointment. This meant I didn't have to tell my family and worry them unnecessarily. I would like to thank her. Everything went well and I can honestly say she got me through the scariest day of my life. I've been poorly for some time now. My school and the health champions we have here have been my lifeline. They have worked with me on a daily basis to support me, encourage me to go to my regular clinic appointments and even support me with childcare. They really have gone above and beyond. I love my job, however because of my health and my mental ill health it has been hard at times to stay at work. Without the genuine care and support as well as the knowledge our champions bring to their role, I'm not sure I would be here today. A friend of mine trained as a health and wellbeing champion and after receiving the training he spoke to me about some of the things he had learned on the course. Whilst talking to me he explained that he was concerned about me and my present relationship. It was the first time somebody had spoken to me about this and the first time somebody had asked me the right question. Yes, I was the victim of domestic abuse. Over 200 schools have contacted us to improve the health and wellbeing of their staff showing increased engagement across Cornwall. We have nearly 100 champions trained and 42 dementia friends. With all of this showing us that health and wellbeing for staff is becoming an integral part of the school environment. We have also doubled the number of schools receiving the Healthy Workplace Award this year. Not to mention the countless training days. So why should your school get involved? Well, obviously, uh, schools are all about um, children and uh, they're, they're the centre of everything we do. And our greatest resource as a school in, in providing for the children are the, the adults within the school, the whole team, everything that they give. And uh, we want to invest in them properly so that they can keep everybody uh, healthy and happy in, in everything that we do. So we've got involved as a school uh, really to strengthen that sense of well-being among all the staff and the whole school team for the sake of the whole school and for the children. Well we, we work in a very high pressured environment um, and it's very important that we look after the well-being of our staff. If our staff are happy then our children are happy and learning. Uh, the health and wellbeing programme is extremely important for our senior leaders in school. Um, from a CAF point of view, it, it, it gives the opportunity uh, for schools to consider the needs of those leaders and also it helps governors to decide on programmes that can actually support people and help them to think about um, the best use of their time, ways of finding the chance to relax uh, in a very um, complicated and, and at times difficult uh, job. It also helps with that uh, opportunity of working with other people 
to consider your, your own uh, welfare in a job that can be very uh, isolating. So we're delighted with the programme and I want to continue working with the uh, health and wellbeing team to offer specific courses in the future for our members. I'm delighted to report that the health and wellbeing programme within Aspire has gone from strength to strength. We now have 25 health and wellbeing champions, so we've at least one wellbeing champion in every school within Aspire. Uh, there's lots of centralised training, there's training within individual schools and the hubs, and also individuals are being helped through a number of initiatives that have been rolled out. Uh, we also have a staff incentive scheme, and um, that, that is uh, really growing as well. Um, the the uh, board supports the Health and Wellbeing Programme and we're delighted that a number of our schools have actually obtained uh, awards in the, in the audit that was taking place last term. At Biscuit Bay Academy, I would actually say the difference this year, the Health and Wellbeing Programme is actually embedded into the culture of the school where, where maybe when it started it was, it was something extra that we did. Uh, at our school, a number of things are happening just by being the normal practice of the school school day uh, and also groups of people are actually taking themselves to go out and play badminton, we're going out socially, helping individuals when they have issues uh, as such as we've had bereavements, a whole range of things uh, and people don't have to be asked to do things, they're just happening naturally and that's probably the greatest change this year for our programme. How would our school staff sum up the project in one word? Inspirational. Innovative. Caring. Inspiring. Valued. Uplifting. Real. Phenomenal. Pioneering. Essential. We will look forward to working with you, so please get in contact.